Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahar Kakodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Akwat, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And as you can see, the title of this lesson, I'm still thinking of a title for it, but it's going to be based around what you see on the screen. Thankful for the little things. Okay. We have to be grateful, thankful for everything that goes on in our life. We have to be thankful for everything. This is a very fundamental, this is a very fundamental point that, you know, you can't miss men you know now start off from the scripture here slakia start off from the book of um first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 this is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. It says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai and Amashayak Yahweh Shai concerning you. In everything give thanks. Okay? Because the different things that happen in our lives, you know, the Most High does good and he does evil. The, the scripture tells you that the Most High do it good and he do it evil that's the book of deuteronomy is it 32 32 i believe 39 can 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 this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 32 he says see now that i even i am e and there is no good there is no god with me i kill i make alive i wound and i heal Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Now, this is not the scripture I'm looking for, but this also connects to it. The Most High does all these things. The Most High gives lives. He takes life. You know, he makes rich. He makes poor. Let me see. Book of Second. Is it Second Samuel? Let me see. Please bear with me because I didn't plan to bring out the scriptures. But... We're just going to go through the spirit. Um, let me see if I can. Can this is the book of this is the book of First Samuel, chapter two. I'll read from I'll read from verse six. Because this is what the churches don't teach you, you know, and these things are really fundamental. Because if you don't understand these steps, you're going to be a demon in this place, man. You, would, you wouldn't understand what's going on, you know. And you keep doing things that displeases the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. This is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 6. It says, Yahweh kill it and make it alive. Just like we read in the book of Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter, the 39th verse. It says, Yahweh kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. Yahweh make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. He raise it up the poor out of the dust and lift it up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Yahweh and he had set the world upon them. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because usually certain things happen to us in our life, you know, daily basis, monthly basis, you know. This thing kind of like, you know, they sadden you, they bring down your spirits, then you become ungrateful, you know. A little thing 
that might occur that might not be pleasing to you then makes you become ungrateful and it doesn't make you see the, the other things that the Most High has done for you, you know? And you believe that the Most High Yahweh Shimei Oshai tests each one of us, you know, as written here in the book of, um, is it? Is it Sirach, the ch second chapter? Khan. This is the book of Sirach, the second chapter, also known as Ecclesiasticus. I'll start from verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Okay? It says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. So many of us, certain things happen to us in which the Most High uses this thing to test us. You know, a beautiful story is the story of Job, in which his wife also tried to get him to, to disobey the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and curse him out. But he didn't, you know. He kept giving thanks. So, so certain things happen to us, then we we'll become ungrateful, you know. Then we lose, we lose focus. And this is very, very important that we pay attention on these things, you know. Because they are all tests from the most high. The most high might want to test you and see your reaction in certain things, you know. It might take your job, you know. It might, may, it, might, it, might, it might make it look like you're catching all hell, you know, you don't have money, you know, you're going through different things, you know. In situations like this, this is when we know who true men are. Because a real man in such situation is going to keep giving thanks to the Most High for other things that are given to him. Because there are various things that are given to us, but if you're not paying attention, you don't see it. When you sleep at night and wake up in the morning do you think it's something easy when you breathe in hair and you breathe out hair do you think it's something easy you know the little food that you have it doesn't matter how little it is the little food you have to eat the little water you have to drink don't you think it's all something that the most is doing and you know you sleeping and waking up is a miracle man you know that's a huge miracle. Now, let's take a look at the meaning of miracle in which I have on deck. It says miracle. It says an extraordinary and welcome event that is not explicable by natural or scientific laws and is therefore attributed to a divine agency. So, for example, you seeing, you hearing, you know, you being able to breathe. You've been able to sleep and your organs keep working. These are all miracles. We have to give thanks to the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai for the very little things, for everything, man. Because if you're not able to cherish little things, how can you cherish bigger things? As the book of Luke 16:10 tells you. This is the book of Luke chapter 16, verse 10. It says... He that is thankful in that which is least is thankful. Is, oh, sorry. Well, faithful works with thankful and gratefulness, you know, in which it's something different anyway, but we can use the scripture. It says, He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust in much. So if you're not, if, you're, if you don't recognize the little favors that are done to you, even speaking on a physical on a physical realm, okay, taking out the most high yell by Shimia Shai. Maybe your friend does uh, a little favor to you. Maybe he gives you two dollars, and maybe what you need is twenty dollars. And that friend gives you two dollars, but you don't know that might be the last two dollars that friend had, and he gave it to you. And you'd be like, man, what the fuck is this? You know, what am I going to do with two dollars? You know, and you're ungrateful. Do you think when that friend is going to have much, is going to give you more? No. Is going to see you as an ungrateful. That's what the Most High does to us. It, we are all being tested, man. You know? It takes away from you to test you, to see how you're going to react. And I'm saying this because I'm a personal witness to this, you know? Beautiful testimonies, you know, coming out from, you know, being grateful to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, in all situations, just like we read. In the book of um, First Thessalonians, it says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, concerning you. You know, in everything give thanks. If the Most High brings you to a low, low level, give thanks. If the Most High stabs you, 
give thanks. If the most I um, makes you go through some plagues, always give thanks. It's all trials, man. Take a look at the story of, of Job. You know, always give thanks to the most I, Yahweh, Shem, Shai. Because you see, if you're ungrateful, you know, it's also connected to being, to not being faithful. You know, it's connected to not having faith. Because you see, if the most I start doing certain things to you, oh, there is a tempest coming. Okay, so the sound might be a little clumsy, but it's all good. You know, so I was speaking about, um, about if you're ungrateful, it also means that you're faithless, you know, because if the most I start making you catch some little hell or certain things and you start being ungrateful, you start losing, you stop giving thanks to the most I, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, what happens? It means that you're doubting his power. It means you don't have faith in the most I, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. And the book of Hebrew, Hebrews, the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16 um, verse 6, sorry. It says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High Yahweh must, must, must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you see, without faith, it is impossible to please the Most High Yahweh Shai. Now, when you're being ungrateful, you're losing faith, you're lacking faith, you know? It means that you don't know the most I Yahweh Hashem Shai. Our forefathers, in various instances, you know, they found themselves that they were really in harsh situations, but they didn't stop believing in the most I Yahweh Hashem Shai. They didn't stop being grateful, you know? And all that was a test. You that you're faithful in just a little, you're going to be faithful in, in a huge one. You that you're unfaithful in a little, you would never be grateful and faithful in a huge one you know this is how it works so i'm the reason why i'm doing this lesson is you know brothers could be going through different things you know and this shouldn't make you lose that attitude of being grateful you know in all excuse me in all minutes in all moments we should always give thanks to the most high yahweh shem shai he knows what's best for us just like he knew what's best for 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 Job, doing all his aff aff afflictions, he felt like he was he was he was being abandoned. But at the end, he got way more than what he had before. And you coming to seek the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, just believe that you're going to go through test. It's not like what Christianity teaches you that when you come into this trove, oh, you start making all that money, you start getting fame and all that thing. If your life is like that, you should check yourself, man. You should check yourself because it's not what the, the scriptures say, you know. When you come into this truth, certain things are going to start happening, you know. Things are going to start happening. It's all test. Let's get the book of um, um, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. It says, it says, speaking to you, I'll start from verse 19. It says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual song, singing and making melodies in your heart to Yahweh Hashem Shai. And really, I can tell you personally, the most has given me that spirit that, you know, if I'm just, you know, doing my thing, maybe walking or doing something or going somewhere. You know, my spirit automatically, you know, keeps gives praises to the most high Yahweh Shem Shai. You know? And you should build this kind of mindset, you know? Always meditating in the words, always giving thanks to the most high Yahweh Shem Shai in your mind, you know? Even while walking, even while going somewhere, even doing something, you know, your mind should continue continuously give thanks to the most high Yahweh Shem Shai. It says in verse 20, it says giving thanks always for all things it says giving thanks for all things unto the most high yahweh okay and the father in the name of our lord yahweh shai it says giving thanks for all things either be it good either be it bad shall we receive good from the most high and not receive evil from the most high the answer is no you know where is that scripture um shall we receive let me see if i can find it 
shall we receive good and not evil from the Lord Can, can. This is Job. This is the book of Job, chapter 2, verse 10. This is, this is Job rebuking his wife. Okay? Because, you know, while he was catching all that hell, his wife was behind trying to tell him that, hey, just, just cause the most high and call it, call it a day and call it an end. You know? But you see, that man has the spirit of the most high Yahweh Shai. The most high made him to be an example for us in these days. You know, it says, but he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High Yahweh Shemia Oshai? And shall we not receive evil? In all days did not Job sin with his lips. You see, you can't always receive good from the Most High because the Most High is a perfect balance and is going to try you out, man. You know, he already told you, you coming into this truth, you're going to be tried, you know. So if you receive good from the Most High, you're going to receive evil. You're going to be tested. Or you might receive evil at first, then later start getting good. You know? Before the Most High showers His blessing on each one of, each, on each one of His men, He tried them first. Take a look at, um, at, um, at Abraham. Okay? He told Abraham to sacrifice his son. Abraham was willing to do it because he trusted in the Most High, Yahweh Shemia Shai. That was a test. You know? And he passed it. And the Most High blessed him through his seed, Isaac, then Jacob, you know? So we have to be grateful in every little thing, every, be it small, be it big, you know? Because the ungrateful people, uh, how should I put it? The ungrateful people, uh, uh, you know, the Most High is not pleased with the ungrateful people, you know? And they will never have enough. Let's get the book of... Um, Second Esdras, chapter 8 and verse 60. Verse 60 says, But they be created have defiled the name of him that made them. And were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. You see? He said they were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. And you see, you know what ungratefulness, unthankfulness, you know what it, it leads to? If you're unthankful to the most high Yahweh Shemi Shai, it means you're not contempted with what you have. You know, you don't have that spirit of contempt. And what is it going to lead you? It's going to lead you to go seek from the other source. And what's the other source? Satan. Unthankfulness, ungratefulness led many of our brothers to go sign contracts with blood. It led them to go sign contracts with, with the devil because they were, they were uncontempted for what they have. The scripture tells us to be contempted with what we have, you know. It's all a test. In the kingdom, we would have everything, even more than we can, our, our heart can desire, man. So you see, the ungrateful people, the unthankful people that are not grateful for little, you know, what they do, they go seek what they don't have. They go seek it from, from, from Satan, you know, selling their souls. So, you know, we really need to be careful, you know, when it comes to, when it comes to being grateful and ungrateful, we really need to be careful, man. We, re we need to be, just like I say, thankful for the little things, for every little thing. When you wake up in the morning, you, you, have, you have breath, you still have life. The Most High still permit you to live, you know. Give thanks to the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, always. If He gives you only a little to eat, give thanks. If He gives you much, give thanks. Whatever situation you find yourself, always giving thanks to the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Al Shai. Because I'm saying this because judgment is right at the door. The Most High is coming for, with judgment for the wicked of our people. Okay? 
all the people who have you know rebuked uh, refused to listen to this truth that we're teaching the most High is coming with a beautiful package for them not really beautiful you know but a very cruel package the most High has for them you see what happened the edomites you know going out and shooting down jakes you see it's all done by the most High yabba shimei and that's that's judgment for those people you know judgment could come to anyone that's why we're always praying we're always praying to the most High yabba shimei Oshai to be merciful on us and we're giving him thanks for whichever situation we find ourselves this is the book of wisdom of solomon chapter 16 verse 29 it says for the hope of the unthankful shall melt away as the winter's horse or frost and shall run away as unprofitable water so if you're unthankful if you're ungrateful your hope is going to be melted away you don't have no hope man you know because that's a test you need to pass so i just wanted to bring this out hopefully it was edifying through the spirit and power of the most high you know on to the next one shalom